Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, the Magical Spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. All right. Already shuffled. Relationship first, single second. I'm already like, let's see if that's coming in. That's weird. <laughs> I'm feeling like, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'm feeling like an argument, but I don't know. Like, not like an argument argument, but like somebody else pushing their will to like, well, I'm just not gonna budge. I'm really feeling that again. Somebody else pushing their will just kind of like, to, well, I guess it's technically not an argument because I don't feel anybody really like yelling, but just somebody just like, I'm not gonna budge. This is what I'm doing and I'm not moving. And that's, the, that's it. You don't have a choice because I'm not allowing one. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm feeling the other person that way. <laughs> um, I feel the other person, your partner, the Five of Swords with the Strength card. They're not bending. They're not... No. No, 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 no. Not not moving. I just feel like they're just kind of like, well, I'm not moving. So this is... There is no argument because I'm not going to... I'm not moving. That's it. Done. I'm getting the Strength card here with the Five of Swords. Kind of like they're winning, but it's... The way they're winning is not feeling good. It's like winning through stubbornness. And I'm seeing their challenge card, like, they want, there's something else they want, and they don't seem to want to explain that. The Seven of Cups with the organization is like, they're refusing to move, they're refusing to give in on this situation because there's other things that they have blossoming from it, is what I'm getting. So if they give in on this situation, they lose a lot more than what meets the eye. There's a lot of other things connected to it. So they're just not willing to budge, but they're not willing to really talk it out. They're just saying they have a lot more to this, a lot more connected to this. So if they give in on this, they're going to lose this this situation plus others that are connected to it. So they feel like they're going to lose a lot more than just what meets the eye here. I see you with the Six of Cups here. And I feel like you know when your partner digs in their heels that they eventually they'll just kind of... It'll just drown out. You trying to push on this situation will just make it worse. And I feel the the six of the six of cups. Yeah, the six of cups. You got the joy, but it was face down. It just feels like things will work out better if you just let it be. It's like if you really try to fight this and push this, it's just gonna be an uphill battle. If for some twist of fate you seem to win out, it's just gonna be it's kind of like winning the car, but like somebody, that, but, but it gets repossessed. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like it's like winning a prize, but by the time it gets in your hands, if you fight to keep it, it's all beat up and who wants it anyway? I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth the fight. And you rather get along with your partner. It's just face down. You're just like, it's just going to be, it's just going to be horrible if I fight this. It's just going to be horrible, and it's just never going to end. You don't really feel like there's actually a winning aspect here. I just feel like you you elect to abstain. Just kind of like you're not agreeing, but you're just kind of like, what choice do I have? It's just going to get worse if I fight this. You're just kind of like, whatever. It's fine. Um, your partner does have the Knight of Cups. They love you, but I feel like the situation they're dealing with they want to keep it the way it is. And they love the way the situation is too. They love you, but they love the situation is. They want to keep it the way it is. You have the Ace of Pentacles where you're standing. I feel like that's the Ace of Pentacles doesn't feel good in this situation. Kind of like, this is just how this works. And it's just how they are. It's how things go. You're looking at it like this. this is not really a negotiable situation. And you know that. You don't really like that. 
and you know that since they have a lot of passion for the way the way things are going and where they stand, it just feels like there's a lot here that's just it's not to your liking, but you feel kind of like I could really force my will on this, but it's just gonna be a crap show. It really is. And you might technically win, but you're gonna win a ball of crap. And why bother? Who wants a ball of crap? The challenge card here is for you to stand your ground a little bit, but no one to give in. Um, and I almost feel like you're giving in on this one. I, I just feel like you're ending up with, with, with sad feelings, with unhappy feelings because of the way it's happening. The way you have to give in to your partner, I just feel like it's leaving a bad taste in your mouth. You don't really like it. Um... I'm getting there's a problem here. This seems to create a really big problem if it hasn't already. Because what I'm seeing happen here is like I feel two people upset with each other and just not willing to deal with each other, just not wanting to even look at each other. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing your partner kind of go on um, and feeling like they really didn't win anything and just letting the situation go. I just feel like neither of you get what you want. When all is said and done, neither of you get what you want. Um, I feel like your partner just goes in a completely different direction than expected. With the Magician card here and the Eight of Wands is what makes things better. I feel like they're actually just kind of going a different direction from whatever they thought they were going to get, whatever they were holding their feet to or like they dug in their heels about, whatever they were holding on, they're like, I'm not moving. And you're just like, well, fine. I feel them just abandoning the whole thought. Like, whatever it is, they're just ignoring it now. Because of the way it ended and the way it felt, it just was not what they really wanted, the way it played out. And I feel you're kind of like, I gave in for this, and now nothing. It's like, neither of us got what we wanted. I feel like that's how this ended. Neither of you got what you wanted. So, I don't see you really brooding about it, but it's just kind of like, well, why did we even bother then? Why do we even bother having that argument or that moment? It wasn't even an argument. It's just a moment, an uncomfortable moment that you decided not to engage with because you're like, where is this going to go? So they give up on it. You're kind of like, well, why? Why? <laughs> why? Why did any of this happen then? Um, you've got the queen of wands. Don't get caught up in the gender, of course. But what I'm getting from this Spiritually, it's like you're, a, you're you keep you seem to get past it. You're just like, all right, fine, that's over. Let's move on. And then you got the hierophant with the love with the well, the lovers. The mag the magician is not here. Magician is over there. I'm having a hard time saying romance, but I feel like you're trying to bring it back in. You're trying to get your partner to come back towards you. It's kind of like, all right, neither of us got what we wanted. You're just like, let's let's let it go and move on from it. On to the next. On to the next. Um, I feel like you just want to let it go and move on. And I'm getting the Hierophant with the Romance card here is telling me you're you're acknowledging your partner's feeling a little out of place, but you're also kind of like trying to pull them back, back towards you again, trying to get things connecting. Um, for now, whatever the situation was, I just feel like you're just 10-foot pulling that situation, like not going to touch it with a 10-foot pull. Because you want to get them close to you again. You want to get them feeling good around you again. And you're hoping you can like bring back their relationship, you know, to a common, comfortable keel. Keel? Common, common, comfortable moment. And then if necessary, you can work out things then if necessary. You're not planning to do so, but if it comes up, if you're both together and feeling more connected or locked in a little better then you can work things out. But for right now, the way this is ending, neither of you are getting what you want and you seem to be separating ways and just kind of ignoring or staying away from each other. What makes things better at the end is kind of like you get to the point where, yeah, yeah, nobody got what they wanted, but let's move it on from it, on to the next. And you're trying to pull your partner back close to you and trying to do things more with your partner just so you can move on from that moment. And then maybe if, if necessary, if necessary, it comes up in the future You'll deal with it when you're both more in a more cooperative energy. Good? I think we got there. All right. 
Um, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if I could really judge it as good or bad, to tell you the truth. It'd be just, I guess it is what it is. If this is hitting with you, you know what the situation is like. So, I don't know. It didn't seem all, like, I don't know. It didn't seem all that rough, but it didn't seem that great either where it was going. But hopefully, the way it looks at the end, it could turn around. All right. Let's just, they're saying just let it go. So I'm just going to let it go. Um, Leo, single Leo. What do we have for single Leo? Messages for single Leo. What do we have for single Leos? What's going on for single Leos? Let's stop. Yeah, um, strength at the bottom. That's a Leo card. <laughs> they keep pushing out. Okay. The star card at the bottom. It's interesting because the Leo couples did not seem so nice. The Leo single could be quite nice. For whatever reason. All right. All right. I think we got a uh, peace. Peace is pushing out, forcing itself out of the deck. Um, and you got victory at the bottom. This could be a really good, really good read for a lot of you. <laughs> uh, let's find out. You got the Ace of Wands in the past. You've already decided that you want somebody. You want a relationship. I feel like for those of you who are really going to connect to this reading, you're looking for somebody to connect in with. You're looking for somebody. You're not looking for just somebody right for now. Uh, I've heard it called Mr. Right Now, Mrs. Right Now, whoever right now, <laughs> whoever it is for right now. You're not interested in that. You're looking to actually get involved with somebody and start you want to live with somebody. You want to grow a relationship with somebody. You're like, I'm ready to start something here. I don't feel like you're just wanting to just see where something goes. Like, just like, oh, let's see where it goes. I feel like you're looking at people seriously. Like, you want somebody who's going to stick around. Somebody who's willing to work things out. Somebody who's, like, not expecting perfection. But somebody who realizes it's about where your heart lies, where their heart lies, and what you want from life. You want somebody who's on the same level as you. I have goals in life. I want this out of life. I want to be able to travel or I want to do this. You want somebody who wants to come into your life and they want to build shop there. They want to set up camp there. for. They want to set up, set up camp and then hopefully build a home later on. That's what you're looking for. Go on forever about that, why don't I? Okay. Eight of Cups is at the top. This is very interesting because I feel like your life is good. You have possibilities around you already. But I feel like it's the possibilities you have already around you, nobody's giving you that impression like they're ready to set up shop or ready to like really start trying to get a relationship together. I feel like, I, I don't know, that's not something I usually come across for Leo, but I'm feeling it here. Like you've done enough small relationships, you're done with it. Not interested in it just like, last for a couple months, maybe even a couple years. I don't want a couple years. I'm looking to set up shop for the rest of my life. And I'm not expecting it to be like, all right, I'm just going to find that one and that's just going to be it. I just want somebody who's thinking the same way. They're looking to get to know me with that goal in mind. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But I want somebody goal-oriented. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for end of their life. They're looking for somebody to live with, to build a life with. Even if it doesn't work out, if at least they have that mindset, that's all you want, that that's what they're looking for. So you'll both be on the same page. It's either working or it's not. It's not good for now. Then You don't want a good for now relationship. That's not what you're looking for. You don't want somebody in your life who's going to be like, well, it's good for now, so I don't care. No, you want somebody looking ahead. Like, it's how does it feel now? How is it going to feel in five years? How is it going to feel in 10 years? Is this a can we match well enough that we're five to ten years out we can still be together or is this person you're coming towards going to look at it like oh I, i'm okay with it for a year or two but five years down the road i'm not going to like it in ten years i'm going to definitely not be able to do this and they're, they're going to realize that and be like i'm sorry but this isn't matching you're okay with that you just don't want somebody who's like well it's okay for now 
and then you end up investing a couple years into this person and they're like, well, this isn't going to last any longer for me. All right. <clears throat> you want you want love. Definitely want love. But you want something that's going to last. I don't know if I'm explaining it well or if I'm just beating it to death. Probably both. <laughs> a little bit of both. You know, sprinkle it in there. You got the Queen of Swords in the center with the Eight of Wands. <laughs> You're really looking to find somebody to try this with. Um... And I'm noticing this Eight of Cups. Maybe I didn't explain this completely yet. The people around you right now are not making the grade. You don't feel like they're going to really want to look at this like long-term possibility. You're finding more people like, just let's just see where it goes, people. Like, eh, I don't know if it'll work, but you know, it's good for now. You don't want the good for nows. That's just, I hope I explained that well. That's what you're walking away from. Like, I don't want the good for nows. You got this, I think this is also the Leo card. It would make sense with the lion on it. <laughs> I really believe this is. So I feel like you're very much in your own power, very much in your strength. I want to find somebody who's seriously taking me seriously and thinking about how we match up. Will that hold up to the test of time? You don't want somebody just tolerating a situation because it's okay for now. You don't want somebody who's enjoying you and enjoying the excitement of your life, but mostly thinking to themselves, it's just going to be a temporary situation and they'll just hang around until they decide it's not good for them anymore and then move on. You're not looking for that. I keep reiterating that so much. I don't know why. Going forward to the next, you have the Six of Pentacles with the Mermaid Magic Seduction. I feel like you're going towards the type of person you don't normally go towards. You're going towards a builder. And you're talking to people and you're finding people who are builders. By builders, that's usually like earth energy to me, which Six of Pentacles, Pentacles, Earth... But, like, Virgo does this, Taurus, Capricorn, um, they invest in people. And the more they invest, the, the stronger they get. They dig in roots. They grow roots into people. You know what I mean? Or into a situation, you know, in case that sounded weird. Um, so you're getting to know people who invest. These are people that when you get in with them, they always want you in their heart. They invest. And I feel like you're finding people like that. Somebody... You're finding someone who wants to invest in you and they want to get to know you more. I feel like you're finding what you want. The only question is, does it match? Because I feel like you got the Ten of Cups here. Somebody who's very respectful to you and you're respectful to them. It's very good. You feel very good with each other. They're you're coming towards an investment type personality is what I'm getting. It feels like an earth type personality to me. Don't get caught up. It doesn't have to be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It does not have to be one of those. But they have aspects where they're looking to invest, emotionally invest. Because they're, you're popping up in their life and they're feeling like this is a good turn. They like how you are coming towards them. They're, they like how you're saying, I, I understand that things don't work out and that's okay. But I'm looking to see, I'm looking to find somebody who's seriously thinking, will this work out in one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years? Like, they're, I'm looking for somebody who thinks about that. How am I going to feel in five years with this person? How am I going to feel in 10 years with this person? That's what you're looking for. And they're liking that. They're really liking that. They are, they are an investment person. It's an investment type personality. You're getting the seven of wands first. They're holding you off at first. They're literally, even though... Yes, they are an investment personality, and yes, they're looking at you seriously. They're going to move slow, too. That's the thing with most, most investment personalities. They don't move forward quickly. They take their time. They'll take educated risks or calculated risks. How do you put this? Like, they're not just going to go like, oh, let's give it a shot. That's not them. They're going to be like, all right, let me see if I do want to really invest some time into you. Let me get to know you a little bit more. Like every step they take, they're sure about every step they take. And they're like, all right, I think we could go a little farther. Okay, I think we could go a little farther. So you get the seven of wands first, but it does go into the two of cups. They do really like what they see with you. They really, really enjoy you. They see a lot of abundance with you. The only thing I feel is maybe a drawback for you is the slow movement forward. But it's dedicated, secure. Every step you get, you it's secure. It's a very strong foundation. 
To get what you want, I feel like this is necessary. I'm getting the Two of Pentacles leading into the Ace of Cups. And I'm noticing the Beauty card pop right in right on top of it. It's going to make you uncomfortable that they move slowly. I feel like it makes you wonder if they're just re rethinking the situation. Or if it might make you feel a little insecure in the sense of like, well, maybe they're going slow because they're not really in love. Or maybe they're going slow because they're thinking I'm a bad idea. I feel like you're used to things going faster, a lot faster. This is how this investment personality works. They are definitely falling for you. They do it very slowly, though. you got to give them that time. I just feel like it's very uncomfortable, but you do come to the Ace of Cups. And then the Three of Wands is here. You're going into the future with this person. I feel like this is actually a match. And I'm saying that knowing that fire and earth don't usually match. But you have things in your, you probably have things in your chart, and they have things in theirs that actually they cross. Just because at first blush, even if sun signs don't match, even if you have certain characteristics that don't match, there's always the there's always the exception. And I feel like this might be the exception. Even though knowing earth and fire don't usually mix well, not usually, in your case, you got the workaround. You got the exception. The two of you can make this work. It's just going to be slow and steady as she goes. They go. Let's not get it caught up with the gender. He, she, they, whatever works. Slow and steady as you go. There we go. Take it right out altogether. I think that's good. All right. That's how this one is ending. I hope that helps. So thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.